I'm being joined by the Abuja chairman of the uh, Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria, Ifai Ikebudu. Earlier, we were talking about uh, the mass exodus that we've experienced, especially in recent times. But this time, let's talk about quackery, quackery in the profession. What actually is the standard and how can it be upheld? Start, uh, let me speak uh, uh, specifically about the uh, pharmacy. The standard for pharmacy practice is uh, regulated and controlled by a body called the Pharmacy Council of Nigeria. And uh, it entails that someone must have necessarily gone through training in the university that provides training for pharmacists. And presently, there are about 23 such universities in this country. Maintenance of that standard is purely under the control of the uh, Pharmacy Council of Nigeria, formerly Pharmacy Council of Nigeria, in collaboration with National Universities Council. Now, what causes uh, quickly, especially in pharmacy, is because so many people tend to uh, see pharmacy as a, a body of trade. Pharmacy is um, a critical uh, aspect of the healthcare delivery system. It is one of the healthcare bodies that this on two essential aspects of practice, the uh, product, which is the medicine, and the practice, which is the uh, personnel. Most Nigerians, because of the poor economic situation that we find ourselves, have so much interest in the product aspect of our practice, which are the medicines. So they tend to go into medicine sales without actual control from the bodies. And because of the pecuniary uh, uh, gains they get from such practice, it tends to encourage them to go into such practice. Because, uh, of course, by and large, you know that our healthcare system is not what it should be. You have uh, an issue, you go to the uh, uh, medical uh, center, you need to see a physician. It takes you like three, four hours to see a physician before your patient is passed on to the pharmacy or to other investigative uh, units. By the time you are done with the health facility, you spend like six hours of your day. And people are not very, very happy with such a system. So they want immediate uh, fix to their healthcare needs. And what do they do? They go to the nearby uh, patent medicine store, or the man that sells uh, drugs by the road, or the man that hawks drugs on the streets and gets his uh, supplies, right. which so is not good do, for the it's system. It's important, as you've indicated, for the PCN to step in and ensure that we check quackery because the lives of people are actually at risk. Let's now turn attention to the National Drug Distribution Guidelines. How far have we gone with implementation? Well, it's in, uh, thank you very much. It's in the uh, kicks and starts. For now, for now, uh, one of the major components of the National Drug Distribution Co uh, Guidelines is the Coordinated Wholesale Centers, which is called the CWC. There are meant to be four such centers in the Federation, one in Kano, one in uh, Anambra, one in Lagos, and one in Abia. Of these four centers, only Kano has neared completion and full takeoff for implementation. Anambra states in the last couple of months had what we call the groundbreaking ceremony, and the executive governor of Anambra states promised that within 24 hours, sorry, 24 uh, months, that is two years, uh, there will be full uh, completion of that center. So if you now put it in context, that we have less than 50% completion of the CWCs, right, and that is not do. good for us. Okay, and it's important for government at all because levels yes, to actually work on implementation. I must sincerely appreciate you, Ifanyi Kebudu, Chairman Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria, Abuja Branch, for joining us on TVC News at this time. That